Good morning, KG1. For our maths lesson today, we're going to read this story and listen to it. And then we're going to figure out our new number for the week. Listen to the story carefully. And as we go on, there are a few questions. Try to figure the answer out, okay? I'll give you time to answer the questions as well. Now, listen carefully. One day in February, Ali and his friends went on a picnic to the National Park. I will read it again. One day in February, Ali and his friends went on a picnic to the National Park. Now, listen to the question carefully. Where did Ali and his friends go for their picnic? Where did they go? Did they go to school? Did they go to the zoo? Or did they go to the national park? Think for a moment and answer my question. You remember your, the months of the year, right? Now, Ali and his friends, they went in which month? Was it January, February or March? Think which month was it? Now, looking at the picture, you can tell how many, can you tell me, how many boys can you see? How many boys can you see in the picture? Right, and the other question is, how many girls can you see in the picture? How many girls? And the third question is going to be, how many all? together the boys and the girls put your finger on the picture and count them all together how many all together okay don't forget to use your peter pointer and count how many okay when you want to count anything you count you begin with one, two, three, and you go on slowly, slowly. Salam alaikum again. Let's continue our story about Ali's picnic. Ali's mother made sandwiches for all of his friends. Can you count all the sandwiches his mother made? Can you count all the sandwiches? Look at the picture now and tell me how many sandwiches. Now let's continue our story. Ali's friend brought orange juice. Can you guess how many boxes of orange juice are there in the picture? Can you count them with your finger? Begin with number one. How nice! Safa, Ali's friend, also brought a big watermelon. Can you see the watermelon? How many slices do you think she needs to slice for everybody? How many does she need to slice? Now we get into the end of the story. After a wonderful day, Everybody went home. Now for the big challenging question. Can you tell me what is our new number for today? From all of this story, you think and then tell me what's our new number today?
Write a one and then another. This one looks just like his brother. Twelve is simply a one and a two. Write the numbers and say choo choo. For thirteen write a one and a three. Once you are done, shout yuppie. To make fourteen, write a one and a four. Then make a roar like a dinosaur. Number 15 is a 1 and 5. Write them out, then do the jive. Make a 1 and then a 6. Writing 16 is an easy trick. Seventeen is easy to trace. A 1 and a 7, now make a face. Eighteen is a number that looks just great. Make a one and then an eight. Nineteen makes me feel just fine. All you need is a one and a nine. 